Scratch an itch, find a niche, you'll be rich, bitch. And boy, has Kendra Henderson figured out how to do just that. She is a master in the art of hustle. As a wife and a stay-at-home mom of five under seven, she's built several successful companies, and she's here today to tell us how she did it, what her secret is, and how you can do it too. I think especially right now at this time, there's a lot of families that are looking at each other thinking, okay, someone's lost their job or the layoffs are coming or perhaps, you know, there's moms that are at home that are saying what you're saying. Like, I, I would love to do something, but I don't have time to work out of the house right now. My family or don't want to even. Yeah. Or don't want to. How did you take it from side hustle to I'm going to make this my job? Yep. I think so often we um, hold back for fear of what other people are going to think. Mm-hmm. or that we're not going to be successful or that it's maybe like, you know, you're the, like the kid in school is like, Oh, I'm not going to ask this a stupid question or a dumb idea or whatever. Um, and I have always just had like a strong conviction since I was a little kid about like what I want to do and how I want to do it. Um, and so I would say like, number one, like if you have an idea or if you have a passion, like we are, um, I read a quote the other day that said, um, are like the way we are wired points to the gifts that we have. And it's so true. Like, Oh, I'm wired. Like I, I like this. That's just how I'm wired. No, that's your gifts. So like if there's something that you are inclined to, or that you feel yourself being pulled towards, like go all in there, like really, um, you know, open it up and see what's in there. And just, I, I think go for it is honestly, like we always say, do the damn thing in our house. Um, <laughs> shout out to the bachelorette. But, um, Good job, Becca. Yes. Yes. Um, but really like so many people have great ideas or like want to do something fun and cool and they just don't do it because they, um, well, they either, you know, are afraid or they have excuses. Like so many people make excuses. Like I'm busy. I'm this, I'm that. Mm -hmm. Um, there's never been a better time in our lives to do something. You have no distractions in terms of like all the outside things of events and sports and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. I get it. Like life at home is really busy with kids. One, two, three, however many you have. Mm -hmm. Um, but at the same time, like it's never been a slower pace than what we're living in right now. And so I think, you know, now is a really good time. That is the truth. I like what you brought up and said, just do it and don't have fear because I've heard you talk. I, I watch your social stuff religiously. and I've heard you talk a lot about just getting out of your own way. I mean, I'll even admit it with this this is my job. This is what I went to school for. I did it on television. Like I, this is what I do. And I was afraid to do this for fear of what Susie in high school might think, even though I haven't seen her in however many years or an ex-boyfriend that saw it or whoever on the internet, you know what I mean? And I just, finally, you just have to jump and do it. And I love what you're saying there. Just well, and the reality is nobody goes to bed thinking about you. They always go to bed thinking about what did I do? How did I perform for the day? Like, what did people think of me? We let so much, so much of other people's opinions really like stop us from doing something. And the reality is we all have something so great inside of us. We could all accomplish something really cool and different and bring something fresh if we just um, get out of our own way. I want to talk about connection because I think that's something that you are brilliant at and you have, that's how you built such an amazing following. You're authentic and you're who you are. You know what I mean? Unapologetically, here I am showing up in the morning and yeah, I'm me and but people love that. And I'd love for you to talk about how you built that connection because I think that's hard for a lot of people to be vulnerable and to be authentic. But I think that's what's working so well for you. Yeah. I, um, I think that that's what I like to see. Like I like, I, we love reality TV for a reason, Mm -hmm. um, just as a culture. And I feel like, um, it gives people that me too moment. Like, look, my playroom, if I gave you a 360, I'm sitting in a playroom. First of all, if I give you a 360 to show you, like the floor is covered in toys. Like people want to feel like they're not the only ones. They're not the ones with the messy, the only ones with the messy house and the toddler throwing a shit fit on the floor or like what, like we all, we are all cut from the same cloth in terms of like, we all have our struggles and we all have our things. Mm -hmm. And I think when you can show up and even the playing field that way, um, it immediately lets people drop their guard and feel like, you know, open up and be vulnerable. And, um, vulnerability is not like I, my, my thing in life, I've always been like a very private person, had like a very small circle. Um, but I have learned as I've gotten older and just gone through more things, like when you are vulnerable and can open up about your struggles, whether it's anxiety or, um, you know, stress or just marriage, like whatever, whatever it is, like people want to feel like they, you know, it it builds community, whether you're actually in physical community or you're just like online. I think people love to feel like, Oh, I'm like that too. Good. I'm so glad somebody else. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like I do. Yeah. And there's nothing like 
for me, like more unappealing than like coming to somebody's page and everything is like that, like perfect. And they don't like show their real life. And I'm like, I actually really want to see like your mess. I want to see, you know, like all the things, because that is really like, we always say the mess is in the message or the message is in the mess. Mm -hmm. And it's so true. Like we, we, ha we all can relate in so many different ways. Speaking of relating, like I said, you're a mom, you're a business owner, you're a wife, you've got a lot on your plate as do many moms. How do you mm -hmm. schedule this? Because I think that's a big hurdle for a lot of people that are thinking about doing something. They're like, I just don't have time. How will I ever make time to do this? Yeah. Um, well, you don't. <laughs> Breaking news. Um, you just get it in when you can. I really honestly think that um, if you want it bad enough, if you want the change, if you want the freedom, whether it's you know financial or like you want to do something, like if your why is big enough, if you're passionate enough about what you're doing or your idea or um, whatever it might be, um, you'll make the time. Like it's all, it all boils down to priority. There's a, we make a lot of sacrifices. We, we, um, a lot of people think that when you are building something, you add a lot and you're doing a lot, you're actually taking away a lot. You're stripping your life of a lot of things. And so we, as a, a family make a lot of sacrifices. We're not in, the kids are not in a bunch of sports and we're not doing a bunch of things like Colin and I work really, really hard. Um, but we also like try to manage it to where, you know, we're not both like sitting down at the same time working. One of us is with the kids or like dinner time we'll do together. Um, I stay up late at night. I call and gets up early in the morning. Like, um, you just, you just make it work. Like we want it bad enough that we just, we fit it in. There's times where people are like, you know, what's the secret? That's hard work. Hard work. It's the same yeah. secret that everybody will tell you. And across the board guaranteed, like their overnight success was 10 years in the making. Like it is hard work. 100% yeah. of the time. I'm sure you've learned some really solid business lessons along mm -hmm. the way, coming from Amazon to owning your own shop to now being in the Young Living family. What have you learned? What would you tell people who are looking to start something new that are like your top three building blocks or lessons? Um, okay. So number one would be consistency. Right. You have to show up every day consistently and talk about whatever it is or sell what you're selling or share what you're sharing or um, promote whatever, like you have to show up every single day and social media, this become like, it becomes really easy because it's such an, uh, a quick access and something where it's like, you don't have to show up full face and makeup and everything. Yeah. You can show up, you know, however, um, but just show up because it builds trust. People then will learn to like, they're not thinking, Oh, you're trying to make a quick buck, whatever you're mm -hmm. selling or building. Um, they're like, Oh, she's in it for the long, the long haul. So that's number one. Um, number two, I would say is to be unapologetic. Um, lukewarm is not sexy. Like it's not, nobody wants anything lukewarm. And when you can go all in and just be, um, truly unapologetic, I think that people can feel that and they want in on it, they, whatever it is, they just want in on it. Like they, it, there's something appealing about it for people. Um, and then I think number three, it would be to dream big. Like we dream big, 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 scary dreams. Like Colin and I have some goals for the next couple of years that are like, I would have laughed like, you know, if somebody told me this a year ago or two years ago, even. Um, and I think we just are so we limit ourselves. It's yeah. just, you know, so many times it's like, Oh, well, I, I mean, I could say all day long, I, I have five kids, you know, I can't like, I, this is not my season or this isn't my time. We just dream really big and your subconscious gets to work. When you start like setting these big goals and dreaming really big and like, this is our plan. This is what we're doing in five years. This is our, you know, you guys know, you guys do big, big, big things. Um, you just start to manifest that and you make it happen. Like, does it just fall into our lap? No, but it's like, okay, how, now that I know where I'm going, what do I have to do to get there? And I think one other thing, we try to dream big enough that other people can see themselves inside of our dreams because you want people, you can't do anything alone, nothing, like zero, zero. Um, and so when you can make your dream big enough that people can visualize themselves in it, you get like an army of advocates. People want to join you. People want like they, they're here for the cause. They see themselves having success within your success. Um, and it just becomes like a snowball effect. And it just is, it, it's really cool. Well, let's talk about your dream currently. Well, one of them, you are such a successful young living uh -huh. business owner. Tell us about that and tell us why you love it. And what, I guess what that journey has been like. My gosh, it's been like the best surprise of my life. I like Colin will tell you, I'm obsessed. Like I love it so much, but I love, like, I love the part where I feel like I can 
inspire women to do something within the four walls of their home, especially yeah. right now and make a huge, huge difference in their family. So, um, like I said, for us, like my initial dream when I started this was that Colin could retire from his corporate job, um, to pursue like his passion of speaking and all that. And, um, that happened in September. Um, and so from there, it's just been like just an uphill kind of climb, I guess we just keep going and awesome. it's, it's been, it's really, really fun. I love it so much. And I'm glad to hear your family is doing well. They're adorable and everybody go follow her because yep. you're a real joy. I look forward to your stories every single day and seeing your kids and see what That's you guys it. are doing and you have a great <laughs> family. Great. Thank you. Thank you for all you're doing. It's so amazing. Uh,